there was a man named Edwin Booth. And he was a very, very famous actor in the mid-1800s. Famous actor. People came from Europe and across the United States to see him act. He was very, uh, very well, well known. He was very loved. He was very accepted. He was very celebrated. But then one day, his brother, John Wilkes Booth, assassinated President Abraham Lincoln. And when that took place, Edwin's heart was so broken because instead of being Edwin Booth, this amazing actor, he felt that now he was labeled as the brother of John Wilkes Booth. And he began to pull back and he began to withdraw. He stopped acting. He pulled himself away and he went into seclusions and he became like a recluse, just staying away as much as possible from anything that he did before because there was such shame in his life. He was so con controlled by what his brother had done. And one day in Jersey City, New Jersey, he's standing at, at the train tracks. And what, what would happen is they would stand on the platform and the trains would come through to pick up the people. And he's standing there and there was a young man standing aside of him. And that young man tripped, lost his footing, and was getting ready to fall in the way of an oncoming train. And Edwin Booth reached out and he grabbed this young man and he pulled him back to safety. And of course, that young man was very thankful. He shared his appreciation and he left. It wasn't many weeks later that there was a knock on the door of Edwin Booth's home. And here it was, the secretary to the general of the army. And he said, Edwin... I want to thank you for saving this young man's life because the life of the young man you saved was Robert Todd Lincoln, the son of Abraham Lincoln. Two brothers growing up in the same family. One was a murderer and one saved the life. See, our greatest victory, our greatest glory is when we are able to have conquest over the things that want to sabotage us emotionally, physically, relationally, socially, spiritually, in our thoughts, in every aspect of our lives.